Uh, welcome to the Dagger House, the only home or studio of the French Impressionist Master anywhere in the world, open to the public. Um, the irony is that it's in New Orleans, and this really represents a period of time where, according to his letters, this was a turning point for him between the more traditional uh, methods of painting and what became Impressionism. In his own words, he calls it better art. And so this is recognized. This historic marker next to us actually tells that story. So um, we are trying to replicate as much as we can the stories. The great grand nieces of Degas are our tour guides. Some of the original plantings are still here, historic plantings that grow uh, over time that we still cut and bring in the house, as they did at the time in 1872 and 1873 when he was here. So he did 18 paintings while he's here, and some of the paintings contain the cuttings of the ginger that still grows wild around the house. So um, the 18 paintings reflect the house, and you can see in many of the paintings the architecture of the house itself. And, and you're having a lot of events mm -hmm. and the breakfasts. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we do uh, We do guided tours with the great grand nieces, and we have the breakfast that it serves for the B&B guests. Now we've expanded it to include people from the outside who want to come to have breakfast before the tour, perhaps, or just come have breakfast on their own. And so we do a lot of weddings, maybe 70 weddings a year, and uh, that's about what we've been doing. But we do some other events, too, like rehearsal dinners. And then we do a historic dinner called Dinner with Degas, and then we do events like this. Uh, cocktails in the courtyard, which is our first of the series that we've run. If people want to know more about you, is your website? Yeah, www.degahouse. Hi, my name is Courtney. I work here at the Degah House. Um, I painted this piece. It is a eight-foot portrait of Edgar Degah when he was here in New Orleans. Um, the reason I decided to paint that was because when I first picked up a paintbrush, my art teacher told me that my style resembled a lot of Edgar Degas. So I started looking into the history of him, realized he came to New Orleans, and I was inspired ever since. Um, David De La Rubia, the founder and owner of the Degas House, commissioned me to make this piece. And so that really started inspiring me, and now I'm a freelance artist. Edgar Degas came to New Orleans in 1872 and stayed into a little bit of 1873. And it was here that he created some of his most memorable masterpieces. I think in this community center that works? So we're trying to open up down the street on Esplanade a um, community and arts performing center. And it's um, the Edgar Degas Performing Center. And we hope to get it open and we hope it can be a hub for musicians and artists, painters, sculptors that can just go show their work and, you know, really pursue themselves artistically. Is, is there a lot of people studying his style? Um, yeah, impressionism is huge. It's a major part. You know, you have him and Monet were the fathers, a couple with some other artists as well. But they were the start and the fathers of impressionism, and it took off from there. You see it all the time. Do you what, what paintings do you dream of painting? Um, do you have a certain thing you you're dying to do? I'm actually really into portraits, and I'm into women actually when I'm painting, and that's something that I think I had in common with Degas. He did a lot of different types, but he had a lot of female form and ballerinas and elegance, and that's something wow. that I... Mm. On a population really? of only 375,000. That's yeah. crazy. We're really okay. an anomaly. Yeah, yeah. We are. But people really are very are. curious about how we do things here. Yeah. yeah. Hospitality is number one. Yeah. yeah. You treat people with due respect. Yeah. It's simple. It's the way everybody wants to be treated, right? Yeah. And um, I think that's why the city's so hot. And our tourism leadership is very sound, and they really encourage, and really their courses, and UNO, of course, has HRT, but that's really what it's all about. So when we can offer that, and we win awards for what we do, and I'm very humbled by that because people love what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And they write the reviews, and we get awards off the reviews, and that's what I'm saying, that's great team. They do a great job. And, you know, they, they stay and take care of everything. Like tonight, this was really planned by a young lady who's a millennial, and you know, they get a bad rap sometimes. No. <laughs> and she's a great yeah. worker, yeah. and she's like, I can take care of this.
you have a good time? You know I did. It's such a okay. beautiful place. This Thank is my stepmother, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. Oh, David. And this is my, my dad, Will. Will. Oh, yeah. Very, yeah. very. Yeah. very. Yeah. Yeah. David, this is amazing. Thank you. And this is Randy. Let's the band. Oh, wonderful. wonderful. Oh, that's that's really great. Hey, yeah, and this is Randy. Hey, Randy. I love your place. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. No, it really is. We work He's hard at it. No, it's beautiful. Done I got a great team. Yeah, you have a great team. Yeah, yeah, but you've done an amazing job at this. You really Thank have. Thank you. No, you're everywhere, and you, you, I've seen well, how you... Well, make it really special. It's something very really different. Place. Well, it's yeah. a special place in history. Yeah, it is. But it's a special place, but you do something very special to to keep it no the love you can yeah, I want it open I feel it I don't want to rope off rooms no <laughs> and I don't want to live on the public dole we produce a lot of income through yeah. weddings yeah. right yeah. Uh, B and B yeah. yeah but primarily the tour we're here to tell the stories and the two ladies are gone but we had three of Degas great grand nieces given the tours that's beautiful and they're oh, wow. retired and it's perfect for them. They work out their own schedules. They, I don't get involved at all. That's wonderful. And they, yeah, I, would, I mean, well, I'm blessed. I have a good team. So